Find yourself in an easy seat position. Place one palm flat across your heart center and the other palm at your lower belly. Now that we've made that connection with our hands, take notice of your breath as you draw inwards and outwards. Now how are your hands rising and falling? Is your top palm rising a little higher than your lower? If so, let's bring them into unison. So your next inwards breath, let both palms rise at the same time, at the same level. And as you exhale, that top palm drawing into the heart, lower palm towards the back of the spine, squeezing the breath away from the body. This hand placement is a really lovely way to remind ourselves to take a deeper breath, not breathe shallowly in the top part of our chest. Draw your palms together and let's rub them so we get a bit of warmth between our palms and then separate your hands and cup them over your eyes and draw in a big breath, drawing in that prana and energy to your body. Let's repeat that. It's a beautiful little wake up and a fa facial massage. Let your hands fall to the sides of the body and lean across to the right side, anchoring your left hip bone down to your mat as you stretch out through the side body. Travelling to the opposite side, that right hip bone anchors to the mat. Coming back to the center and draw your right heel into it, inwards towards your body and send your left leg on a 45. Keep both feet flex, sweep the arms up overhead, interlace your fingers and turn your palms upwards and lean to the left side. Keep space between your chin and your chest. The legs anchor down to the mat. Coming back to the center and take a little rotation through your torso before you allow yourself to fold forward and down. Ah, breathing out, relaxing the spine. Lift your gaze, walk your fingertips in towards your body. Bring that left leg sweeping it up and over, reaching up high with your right arm. And we're coming into a seated twist, so find yourself twisted and then inhale, lengthen the spine, tailbone to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, deepening your twist. Always staying tall in your spine. And we'll take this in derotation to the opposite side before we repeat this little sequence in the opposite direction. Coming back to the center, we'll bring our left heel in towards the body and that right leg back on a 45, both feet flexed. The palms draw upwards, we inhale, and as we exhale, tilt into the right. Coming back to the center before we rotate through the torso and then fold forward and down. Walk the hands in towards the body, coming back to a tall spine, sweeping that right leg up and over. Breathe in as we reach up, exhale as we twist. Inhale, anchor, lift through the tailbone, and lift up through the crown of the head. Exhale as you deepen your twist. Giving your collarbone wide. Rotating quickly across to the opposite side. Coming forward and on crossing the legs and we're going to bring ourselves on to kneeling. Coming up onto our fingertips and take your left leg out so the big toe touches the front corner edge of your mat. Lift yourself up arms level with the shoulder line and tilt across to the right. Keep the hip bones drawing forward. Sweeping up and over. So engaging the side abdominals, engaging the legs and the hips.
and something different as we traveled across to the opposite side. Windmill both hands forward and down. Keep that one leg lengthened out long and then lift it up and away from the mat, palms under the shoulder line. Bring that leg up high, lift your gaze forward and then tap that lengthened foot down and lift. Tap down to the big toe and lift. Keep the belly button drawn into the spine. Long neck. Lift and hold. Settling that leg back down. Draw yourself back forward. Walk the fingertips across. Left knee draws in. Extend your right leg out long. Big toe to the corner edge of the mat. Lift your torso. Straighten out your arms. Inhale. And as you exhale, tilting left side. Move your hip bones forward. Sweeping up and over. Sweeping across once more. And remembering this next time we're going to windmill both arms forward and down. Keep that one leg lengthened and long. And then lift up and away from the mat. And then tap down through the big toe. Tap down and lift, tap down and lift, lift and hold, settling the leg back down, walk yourself back forward, once again coming to kneeling, keep your toes curled under and then sit your heels to hips to your heels, nice little stretch through the arches of our feet before we draw ourselves up to standing. Fingertips forward down to the mat, flatten your feet down, heels under the hips. Now stay folded in half and cross over your forearms, hands to opposite elbows. Allow your arms to frame the outside of your head and your head and your neck to be loose in between your arms. It will sway from side to side through your head. And let your arms fall down. Place your right hand flat in front of your right foot. Bend your left knee and sweep your left arm skywards. Really think of stretching out through the back side of that right leg. And then we'll move across to the opposite side. So now taking a bend in your right knee and keeping the left leg straight. Come back to the center once again, cross over your forearms and allow your torso to fold forward and down, crown of the head pointing towards your mat. The hands fall apart and you roll up through your spine. Sweep your arms up overhead, interlacing your fingers, turn your palms skyward, yawn out through the sides of your body. And bring your knuckles down onto the crown of your head and take your right leg and sweep it across to the outside of your left and anchor down through the soles of both feet. Push the palms skywards again and lean to the right side. Squeeze your legs together and stay even weighted through the soles of the feet as you sweep across to the left. Coming back to the center, inhale and as you exhale, fold forward and down, hinging at the hips, long straight spine. And perhaps you hover your palms above the mat or plant them down in front of your ten toes. You engage your legs and your spine as you come up through a long flat back. Draw the knuckles back down to the crown of the head. Releasing that leg and sweeping the left leg across the right. Repeating the poses to the opposite side. Push skyward with your palms. Inhale. Exhale. Tilting to the left. Inhale to the center, exhale, right side. Inhale, center, exhale, fold forward and down, hinging at the hips. Engage your spine, engage your core and your legs as you come forward and out through a long straight spine and straight arms. Separate those fingers and bring your hands to your hip bones. 
Take your feet three to four feet apart, toes pointing outwards, heels inwards, and bend your knees, hips in line with your kneecaps. And we're taking some squats, so we lower down and lift up as you exhale as you lower, inhale as you lift. Exhale lower, engage Mula Bandha, pull in through that lower energy lock. This time as we lower, we're going to hold. Take your hands down to the inside of your kneecaps and draw yourself across to the right knee and push with that left palm against the left knee and then swap over sides. Coming back to the center with a long straight spine through the middle and then pull the belly button to the spine and round and arch your spine. Come halfway up through the legs and then lower back down again. Long straight spine, deeper bend in the knees, round. Beautiful. Exhale as you round. Inhale as you flatten your back and lengthen forward and out. Plant your palms to the mat, straighten out your legs. Perhaps you widen the placement of your feet. Inhale and as you exhale, bend your elbows. Draw the crown of the head down towards the earth. Feel the length on your spine drawing down towards the mat. Trying not to hold any tension in your body. Straighten out your gaze and we're traveling across to the left side of the mat and coming into a low lunge. Stay on your fingertips, lift your gaze. Curl underneath the back toes and lift away that grounded knee and set that back foot down flat on a 45 degree angle heel to heel alignment and we cartwheel up, Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Shoulders over hips. Bring ourselves into extended angle so that forearm settles to the thigh. It's very lightly resting there. We're using the strength in our core and our legs. And then sweep up and over. Reverse warrior. Come back to our Virabhadrasana 2. Straighten out that front knee. Inhale and as you exhale, reach right out to the side to the left with the fingertips and then tilt your body forward and down. Trikonasana triangle pose. Keeping your back long and flat. Try not to roll forwards. Push the mat away. Get the legs straight as you reverse your triangle. Coming back to a Virabhadrasana 2 just briefly as we bring ourselves into a standing split or standing split, a standing balance, Adha Chandasana half moon pose. Balancing on your fingertips if you feel comfortable to do so. That lifted leg, the foot stays flexed so you're pushing the heel away from the hip. Let that lengthen leg settle back down to the mat. Come back to your warrior 2. Inhale. Straighten out your legs, toes point to the corner edges of the mat, fold forward and down again through the middle, wide leg forward fold, but this time an option to place the palms flat and reach your fingertips through your body. And then we're walking ourselves across to a low lunge on the right side. Stay in your fingertips and gaze forward, long flat back, lifted chest and chin. Curl underneath the back toes, lift up that knee, plant the foot flat, heel on a 45. Cut move your arms forward and up. Warrior two, same sequence to the opposite side. Extended angle. Feel the length from the outside edge of that left foot through to your fingertips. Sweeping up and over. Coming back to Virabhadrasana 2, before we straighten out that front knee, we inhale. And as we exhale, tilting out to the side wall before we lower. Your hand can always settle to your shin. Keep both legs straight and engaged as you push the mat away or push away from your shin and sweep up and over. And beautiful stretch this one.
briefly come back to your Virabhadrasana 2, softening into that front knee, a couple of steps up with that back leg, and then lift up and away, launching into your Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Further extension from the hip to the heel, pushing away from the body. Lifted leg settles back down to the mat. Virabhadrasana 2. Coming back to the center, inhale as you sweep your arms up and over. Draw your hands back to your hip bones, toes pointed out slightly and come back to those squats through the center. Knees track the big toe. The long straight spine, tailbone down, crown of the head lifts as we rise. Once more holding. Hands to the inside of your kneecaps, inhale and as you exhale, draw that left shoulder towards the right knee. Come back to the center. Traveling across from one side to the other. Come back to the center, tailbone through to the crown of the head, long flat spine through the middle and then round the spine up. And then come back down to that flat spine again. Pull the belly button inwards as you round. And flatten down through the spine. Now plant your palms down to the mat. Once again, tick tock your feet out slightly wider. Keep that left palm planted down under the shoulder line as you reach the right arm up and overhead. Goes up to your outstretched finger fingertips. Plant down your right palm, push the mat away as you reach and extend up through your left hand, gazing upwards. Palm sets down. And now we're going to take our two first fingers and hook them around our big toes. Inhale. Then exhale, begin to bend your elbows, pull the spine forward and down. Letting go, palms flat to the center. And walk yourself across to the left edge of your mat. Back knee settles just briefly. And then lift away and we're going to step forward. So both feet come towards the top short edge of the mat. Bend your knees, lower the hips to the mat. Sit bones back slightly, feet flat. Reach your arms up overhead. Engage the core. Inhale, and as you exhale, pull the belly button inwards as you roll down through your spine, arms at the sides of the body, palms flat. Bring both legs in towards the body, and then straighten out your legs and flex the feet. Stand your heels on the ceiling. Your knees and ankles are together. Spine pushing down to the mat, arms pushing down to the mat. Bend your knees, wrap your hands around your shins, hug your body. Keep your left leg drawn into the body, extend your right leg long. Now straighten out that hugged in leg. Wrap your hands behind the calf muscle or the back of the thigh, flexing your foot and curl the toes in towards your shin. Bending the knee and then draw that leg across hand to the outside of the knee and take your gaze in the opposite direction that your knee is crossing to so your left leg is crossed over to the right draw back to the center hug both knees in once more and let's take those movements to the opposite side left leg lengthens hug in your right knee inhaling and then as you exhale Take that lengthened leg and flex the foot to the ceiling, curling the toes inwards to the shin. Knee hugs in and then we draw that knee across the body. Drawing back to the center, 
hug the legs in once more and then we're setting the feet down flat heels under knees feet to the outside edges of the mat and we're dropping the legs across to the left and then sweeping up and over and let the knees fall over to the right taking that once again from left to right Coming back to the center, lift your feet up and away from the mat. Cross your left leg underneath your right. Bring your left hand to the outside of the right knee and your right hand is grabbing onto the inside arch of your left foot. This is cat pulling its tail. Aiming to keep your shoulder blades anchored down to the mat. Coming to the center and swing your legs and swap them over to the opposite side. Right hand grabs the inside arch of the foot. Or left hand grabs the inside arch of the foot. Coming back to the center, feet flat, and then walk your legs out long, space between the heels, arms loose and long by the sides of the body, palms facing up. Allow a sense of ease to float across your body, feeling centered and grounded, and practicing for just under 20 minutes. It's been a beautiful practice, and I appreciate you being with me. Namaste, love and light.